Tatum, where we're going to look in on Michaela Bradley and Joel Caldwell, the wife of the head football coach and the wife of the general manager, the two architects of the football team, who have put together their own kind of game day grub, you might say. And it comes this week in the form of fish and chips. But are there really chips? Welcome to today's game day grub presented by Tico People's Gas. I'm Michaela. I see you. Uh, there's somebody new in the kitchen. Here. Yes, I would love to introduce to you, Chef Tony, our beautiful uh, Joelle Caldwell, the wife of General Manager Dave Caldwell. All right. Here today. Hi. Thanks Pleasure. for having me. Well, thanks for being in here, man. We're going to cook up something fantastic today. You know, awesome. we're going to go across the pond, if you will, and okay. uh, work on a little fish and chips. But today, no chips. All fish. Delicious. So, sound like a good deal? Sounds great. All right, so over here, we have a couple of bowls. We have a mixture of all-purpose flour and cake flour. So we're keeping it a little bit lighter. And we have a bowl of cornstarch. Michaela, if you'll add our cornstarch okay. to the large bowl. And then we're going to add a couple of seasonings in there as well. We have a little bit of uh, ground mustard and some uh, paprika. So just is pour some a, of that in. Just a little pinch of roux here? How much do you like? Is <laughs> I don't know. Put? Oh, that's great. Oh, okay. right there. Oh, yeah. A little bit of that, yeah. It's tasty. And then we're going to put a little bit of uh, baking soda in here as well. That way, when it, we uh, pour in our carbonated beverage, it's going to react. And it's going to help keep our batter light and crisp. Okay. That's what we're after. So just give it a Great. couple of shakes. A little shake root. Okay. Excellent. All right, Joel, if you will start pouring in our carbonated beverage. Okay. While Michaela whisks up. So we're going to, we may or may not use all of it. it. Depends upon the consistency we're after. I like a little bit of a thicker batter just to uh, make sure it sticks so as we whisk that in. Let's hit it with a little bit of salt. Give me a big three finger pinch of salt. Okay. Oh, you get to spread the salt. One more of those. More? Yeah. And then let's get a little pepper like in there, too. Yeah, there you go. Right? Well, that's that's right. Called She's flare. a natural in the kitchen. You know, I can't wear <laughs> buttons, so I have to, uh, have to create flair there where I go. can. Let's put a little bit more of our beverage in, our liquid. Just to loosen that up some. All right, I'll take this out of your, okay. out of your hands. Move her over here by me. Now our batter is all ready for the fish. So we have our, our fish on our plate. Put our batter here. We just want to move close to our oil. We have some hot oil, 360 degrees over here is with a perfect frying temperature for this. You're going to okay. grab our fish, dredge it through our batter. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's delicious stuff right there. Is that good? And that's good. And just nicely set it into our oil. Okay. There you go. Nice and easy. There you go. The way that you're dropping it in is perfect. It doesn't take very long to cook. You can see Ooh, we're already browning perfect. up. Oh, that's great. It'll be about three to four minutes total. And we'll have a... Uh, piece of fish that is to die for. Looks delicious. So, great things here happening on Game Day Grub. Fish and chips with uh, salt, with Hans chips, if you will. But we definitely have the fish. Thank you. And when we ran this segment last week, everybody wanted to know, well, where do you get the recipe? Well, you can download the recipe and find more information about natural gas and available energy conservation rebates at peoplesgas.com forward slash cooking. The game day grub segment right there as well. And don't